I always want my kids to just see the best of the best. So I just try to, as hard as it can be sometimes, I do try to ignore it and just try to do whatever's best for the kids. That's what I love about you because- yeah. Take the high road. It's, uh, yeah. Kim Kardashian opens up about taking the high road amid all the drama with her estranged husband, Kanye West. You just gotta roll with it. Over the past few weeks, the former couple has been publicly feuding on social media, with Ye launching a whole bunch of accusations at Kim on Instagram, and trashing her boyfriend, Saturday Night Live star Pete Davidson, both online and on his track, Easy. God sent me from that crash. Just so I could beat Pete Davidson's ass. Who? Kim has mostly kept quiet about it. But on Thursday, fans got a sneak peek at the 41-year-old KKW Beauty Founder's upcoming chat with Ellen DeGeneres, set to air April 13th. Kim says her number one priority is protecting the four children she shares with Ye, North, Saint, Chicago, and Psalm. Something she learned from her own parents' divorce. I always saw such a good example in my mom and my dad in their relationship, so I'm always just hopeful. And no matter what goes on, you know, it's the father of my kids, I'll always be protective. All that echoes what Kim's younger sister, Chloe, told ET about their parents' co-parenting style back in 2019. I think everyone has to handle their co-parenting situation in their own style, but my mom and my dad were like that. It took them years, but my dad would come over once a week for family dinners and would play golf with my stepdad. And we come from a family where we believe in that and you share children with people and that's how it should be. As for the beauty mogul, she says when it comes to the tough times, she just tries to focus on how she can use it to make her better. I also think sometimes these are like lessons. This was put in my life for a reason and these challenges. And as hard as it is, I try to like sit still sometimes and say, okay, what is this lesson? What am I meant to learn from it? And how can I just like get through it? And that's like the whole message that I just try to take away from anything not going your way in life is just try to learn move on and be a good person. And happiness is exactly what she found with her new beau. Yep. In another clip from the reality star's sit down with Ellen, Kim revealed that Pete not only has a few tattoos dedicated to her. I think my favorite one, it says here, it says my girl is a lawyer. He also has her name branded on his chest. Yeah, you heard me, not tattooed, branded. He was like, I want something that's there that I can't, you know, get rid of my tattoos. He's like, I don't want to be able to get rid of it or to cover it up. And I just wanted it like there as like a scar on me. Of course, this all comes after the couple went Instagram official last week. I have the cutest pictures of us and I want to be like, oh my God, we're so cute. And I want, you know, but then I'm like, you know, don't be so desperate. Don't be posting so much. Just give a glimpse. And while fans might be hoping to catch a glimpse of their relationship when the Kardashians' new Hulu series premieres April 14th, Kim recently told Variety she hasn't filmed with Pete yet, but she's not opposed to it. Why not? Don't worry though, the beauty mogul also teased that she will share all the juicy details on the new show, like how they met and how it all went down. And based on the newest trailer of the Kardashians, she wasn't lying. Who are you texting, Ken? Does his name rhyme with feet? <laughs>